forward to this. What's up everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be going over a topic that I've seen kind of go around the community quite a lot lately, and that is the topic of arcade content. So I've seen a lot of people talk about how DICE really should look into adding more content for the arcade modes in Star Wars Battlefront 2, because right now it's just not that good, because basically we have all the maps and everything, but they're all cut short to like the last phase or the first phase, so we're only getting about a quarter of the entire map that's in the game at the moment. And then also, basically, we are only allowed to have 10 bots on each side, so it's just 20 players in total, and a lot of times the maps just feel empty, and it does not feel like a real battle. And then one more thing is, there's no vehicles at all on any arcade map, so it is just kind of bare bones at the moment, but there are some easy ways they can touch it up to make it really good like it should be. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all of those things, as well as I did ask you guys over on my Discord server why you guys think arcade should be improved and what things should be improved. Um, so I'll leave the link to the Discord down below because I'm going to start asking you guys some questions down there. And then a few of you will get featured in my videos. It just depends on the topic I'm talking about and if it's worth even asking you guys. So basically, let's start off with how it can be improved. I think the best way to do that is to look at the original Battlefront 2 game that came out in 2005. So basically, how this game had the offline content set is that you had an entire list of every single map and planet in the game. And you can basically make a whole playlist of as many maps as you want which is a feature that I think really needs to get added into Battlefront 2, because right now you can only do one planet at a time, then after that match ends, you can either replay it, or you have to go all the way back to the main menu, start up a new match, and then choose whatever planet you want. So I think right there would be a really good quality of life feature to be able to create a whole list of planets that you want to play as and then what order they're in and then what side you want to be on. So that right there is my first feature on the list. And then another thing that I really liked about the original Battlefront games was that you can switch sides anytime you want throughout the match. So say you were playing on the Republic, but then you kind of got tired of it. You could switch to the Separatist side if you wanted to. It didn't matter because right now in the new Battlefront game, if you are wanting to change sides, you have to exit the game, go back to the main menu, and then start it up again to choose the side that you want to be on and just like the whole playlist situation I think it'd be a really good quality of life change to be added and it shouldn't be too hard to create I don't think but yeah that is just another small change that I would love to be seeing added so let's go on to the main thing that I have on my list and that right there is the player account. Right now, like I said earlier, we can only have 10 v 10 battles. And I don't know if there's a technical reason why they made it so low, but there is a mod called Arcade Improvements for the PC that ups it up to 25 v 25, and it just makes arcades so much more fun. And all they did was change a little number within the code system. So I do think if they are deciding to focus on some arcade content for those offline players, is in my opinion, they should up the player count to 32 v 32, and then open up the entire map for the whole match. So I think they should make it a lot like the original Battlefront games where you can have the conquest mode, and so the AI are trained to capture the command posts, and we are getting that new mode for multiplayer. Uh, the code name is Titan right now. I made a whole video on it yesterday talking about what I hope and what I think it will be like. But basically, all we know about that mode so far is that there is going to be command posts, and they look just like the ones from the original Battlefront 2, and then also taking out capital ships. So I think it'd be really good to see the classic conquest come into the offline modes. And then also, if they decide to add in the whole map for this mode, they could even include the vehicles in it, which would be really cool to see. But yeah, those are just a few of my things that I would hope to see come for arcade content if died does plan on making it a little bit better but then personally I'm more of a multiplayer guy it's what I do the most in Battlefront 2 so I'm mainly making this video for those people that either they just don't have that good enough internet or they don't have like Xbox Live Gold or whatever the PlayStation I think it's called PlayStation Plus that allows you to play online there's quite a lot of people that simply do not have those features or they can't afford it or whatever reason it is so I think it'd be a really good way to help those players out a little bit so those were just my requests and now I'm going to be going over to my discord where I ask you guys what you think about it and what you hope comes so the first comment comes from Thunderstuck Studios and he said he liked to have the option to change skins in game and then as well as vehicles so that skin option is a really good quality of life feature that I would actually myself like to be seeing added because for some reason it is not in there but then the whole vehicles part, I do agree with that because vehicles are so cool in Battlefront 2 and they're so well made that people are just kind of missing out the people that play arcade content. They're not allowed to use them except for when they play Starfighter Assault. And then the next comment comes from Sith Sean and he says, I think Galactic Assault would be awesome in arcade and it would be cool, but I don't think that the AI would be able to do that. It's just too complicated for them to make and will probably take quite a lot of resources to code. So the next comment comes from B. Woe, and he says, I play split screen often. 
Also, I play a lot of practice for Galactic Assault since I'm horrible. Personally, Arcade is just getting super boring in general and would love to see some more content. And I agree with that. I think practicing in Arcade is a huge thing. I even did it quite a lot whenever I switched over from Xbox to PC because I sucked with the mouse and keyboard. So I would just go into Arcade and practice quite a lot on that mode. But yeah, it did get kind of boring. So then I got the Arcade Improvements mod where it does 25v25 and it made things a little bit better. So thank you for that comment, B Wo. And then the last comment comes from I am superior and he says I think Arcade should get content because it's plain and boring now. He said, I used to play Arcade a lot since it's the only way I'm 100% sure I'm not going to get banned for using mods. We could use a larger scale game mode for offline as well as better AI. And he has a really good point about getting banned for potentially using a mod online because personally I love using the mods that other players create. I think they're really creative and they're really talented people who either change the skins or create a whole new hero using assets already in the game. I think it's really unique and creative. But yeah, I do not use mods at all online because there's just always that risk of getting banned because there is a hacker detection and sometimes it could get triggered by a skin mod. And so personally, I just do not want to take the risk of getting banned from online for quite a long time. I don't know how long it is, but I'm sure it's quite a while. So yeah, those are just some of my thoughts as well as your guys' thoughts on why we should be getting more arcade soon. I am absolutely loving the content that DICE is creating for us. We just got Anakin Skywalker and he's absolutely amazing. And then the new large scale game mode. So I'm super excited for those things. Things, but I do think arcade players are missing out quite a lot so I just wanted to make this video kind of as a message to DICE to let them know that people are wanting some arcade content because there's quite a lot of people out there that are only able to play this game mode and they're only getting 10v10 with no vehicles and then not even the whole map so I do kind of feel bad for those players but yeah that is pretty much going to do it for this video let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it if you play arcade a lot or not or if you would play it more if the features that I said in this video were added but yeah thank you all so much for watching I hope you did enjoy the video if you're new be sure and subscribe for more Star Wars news gameplay and more the new large scale game mode as well as the new reinforcements do arrive in just one week from now so March 26th I'm super excited for them so stay tuned for videos on that and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one